Steve Liebenthal with Beyond Your Side Forecast. And what an incredible first two weeks of February it has been. We've kind of flip-flopped our months in the beginning of this year. January being much warmer than average and February so far being much cooler than average on average and lots of snow falling over the last couple of weeks. We've gone from well below average snowpack to more than 100% across all of southern Idaho. Not sure if you can see the snowflakes here, but this is what's happening at Sun Valley right now. They've picked up about an inch of snow over the last 24 hours. Just that light fluffy powder coming down very slowly, not amounting to much. We've seen those snow showers in valley locations as well. Temperatures are below average for this time of year. We're sitting at 37 right now in Boise. See the average high temperature for this date is 45. A little warmer in Ontario at 43. Mountain locations are in the 20s right now. And these temperatures are not going to rise much as we go through the next seven and even 10 days. Tomorrow, the possibility of some light snow showers early in the morning. We could get maybe a half an inch to an inch of snow in some valley locations. Not a major deal, but enough to make those roads slick if you're headed out early in the morning. And then throughout the day, we're expecting mostly cloudy skies may break out into some sunshine late in the afternoon with that afternoon high only getting up to about 38 degrees. So another below average day and those temperatures will be dropping, especially into Monday and Tuesday. Both of those days we expect highs just barely above freezing. And as we go through the rest of the week, pretty much the same story. Finally, those temperatures jump up a little bit next weekend, but still well below average. And we have had some trouble on the roads. There are still slick spots on many of our highways going to the mountains, including this uh, uh, Highway 55. This is the shot from Smith's Ferry and doesn't look too bad here, but again, there are a lot of icy patches. So if you're headed up to the high country, just be prepared, slow down, take your time and watch out for those icy patches, especially in shaded areas. And there are those snowstorms uh, coming through, just very light showers for the most part, not a lot of accumulation coming out of those. And that's kind of what we expect over the next 24 hours. There is a system that will come into the picture overnight tonight and will really kind of dive to the south of us could clip our uh, area of southern Idaho. So in the Treasure Valley, that possibility of snow. But the big story is the cold air, the jet stream way down to the south of us. It's generally a dividing line between cold air to the north and warmer air to the south. So that cold air will continue coming our way. And again, a couple of disturbances. Here's that area of low pressure coming on shore. It's expected to dive down and just clip the corner of southwestern Idaho, but enough instability in the atmosphere that we could see some snow showers. As you can see, not a lot here on our future cast. A uh, half inch possible, maybe an inch in some valley locations. Uh, mountain locations, not a lot for your Sunday morning, but by Monday, Brundage Mountain could have close to five inches of snow. So a nice skiing for your three day weekend on the third day if you have one of those. In the meantime, tomorrow morning lows down into the upper 20s. Again, that chance of snow showers, especially in the morning. Afternoon highs only in the upper 30s. Again, that is well below average for this time of year. In the West Central Mountains, an inch or two possible over the next 24 hours. We're shooting for afternoon highs just above freezing uh, in the Boise Mountains. 27 year forecast high for McCall and Donnelly. East Central mountains one to three inches of snow with those snow showers just coming and going. It gets down to four in Stanley up to 23 in the afternoon and in the Magic Valley you'll see a few snow showers as well. Some light flurries, not much accumulation. Afternoon highs only in the low 30s. The extended forecast shows that cool down for Monday and Tuesday and then the next storm system comes in on Wednesday. Definitely cold enough on that day that we could see some snow accumulating here in the valley. Alrighty, thank you Steve. Sure. Well new details